The next thing you know, you're on a bus to Kansas following your dreams of becoming an actor. Follow your dreams, they said. But no one said anything about all the rejection and sadness there was to be found. So many auditions day after day. So much rejection day after day. That's why I came back. One more rejection would have destroyed my fragile heart. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I get caught up in the drama zone, you know? Yeah, right. Drama zone. Oh, by the way, we have something for you. No, we don't. How can we give this letter to Jamie now? He might get upset. Hmm. We can make adjustments. We can match Jamie's poetic language and let him down easy. I watched some episodes of a torrid soap opera once, so I'm confident that I get the gist of romance. Um, <laughs> there. Dear Jamie, you, dear Camellia, expectantly await the light of my moon, yet my light is more of a scorching, wilting, dry desert heat. And as your metaphorical surgeon, it is with a heavy heart that I urge you to seek a second opinion. I return your heart to you. Also, your hair is nice. Hair is nice. Yours, but not really, Garnet. Perfect. Mission accomplished. Garnet! Huh? Garnet! Where art thou, my sweet scorching sunbeam? Oh, no! Garnet! I read thine letter and I understand. Thou hast returneth mine heart! What? No, that's not what- Garnet, you like my hair just as I adore yours. Come to me, Garnet. Jamie! Ah, young Master Stephen, pray thee, where is Lady Garnet? She... she's not... she's not coming! But I've come to proclaim my love for my woman! No, Jamie, you don't understand! I... <gasps> Garnet! Ha, you've come! You can tell Stephen about all the beautiful things you wrote to me in your missive. I didn't write that. But it's all right here, stained with tears of joy, and now also rain. Mm, Connie and I wrote that letter, Jamie! What? I'm so sorry, Jamie. We just wanted to let you down easy. Wilt thou not scorch me, my darling son? I am not, nor will I ever be interested. Go away. <gasps> my badass! <laughs> Jamie! Oh boy. I feel so bad for poor Jamie. Yeah, but I'm sure he'll bounce back from this in no time. He's probably gonna show up with the mail any moment now. Yeah. Excuse me, kids. I'm looking for the home of Steven Universe. I'm the home of Steven Universe. Hey, you're Greg's boy. I thought Jamie was pulling my leg when he told me you were living over here. Wait, where is Jamie? Oh, that poor kid's emotions have been destroyed. What? Yeah, he's a mess. Said he couldn't bear to deliver mail on this route again after having his love spurned. He said it just like this, like, like when he's in the drama zone. Then he clenched his fist and closed his eyes like this, full of drama to the end. Anyway, here's a book of coupons. Have a good one. You look sad. We really messed up this time. Because of us, Jamie's feeling lower than ever. We've shattered the man. We'll never love again. I'll go talk to him. But your words will destroy him. Can't you just like zap his brain so he forgets any of this ever happened? <sighs> Jamie. Garnet. I didn't mean to upset you. Then will you go out with me? No. But I've loved you since the moment I saw you. Love at first sight doesn't exist. Love takes time and love takes work. At the very least, you have to know the other person. And you literally have no idea who or what I am. But I bloom for you, like, like a camellia under moonlight. No, you don't. You make a very convincing lovesick fool. You convince these children. You even convince yourself. You're a fantastic actor. What am I supposed to do now? Start with local theater. <coughs> we are 
for the crystal gems. We'll always save the day. And if you think we can, we'll always find a way. That's why the people of this world believe in garnets, amethyst, and pearls.